my name is Jared Sams. Uh, I'm a writer and artist from LA. Uh, my book is called, I'm gonna hold up a copy, I'm gonna hold up a copy. My book is called Space Negro, The Last Negro. It's about the intergalactic adventures of Supernova Watkins, the last black man in the universe. Uh, this book was inspired by all the old pulp sci-fi stories, also like the 1970s Marvel stuff like Adam Warlock and Infinity Gauntlet, all the weird psychedelic Marvel stuff. Uh, but also ultimately it's about just being a weird black guy and trying to find your place in a universe that don't understand you. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my book, Space Negro. My proudest moments honestly is being here, like t talking to people, like you spend so long making a book and you're all alone in your room <laughs> and you think oh man this is a sad life i live but then you come to comic con and you get to talk to people and they get to talk about your book your thing your arts the thing that you put yourself into and how it's connecting with them uh and every time someone tells me that they like the book it's humbling it's it's amazing. It, 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 there's nothing. There's no feeling like it. If you want to contact me, uh, hit me up on my Instagram, Spaceman underscore Jared. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I'm published to a, a company called First Comics, one of the first companies to ever go into the creator own game right they were around in the 80s this is our 41st year in existence um so if you want to order my books uh space negro especially you can go on that website uh firstcomics.com um uh, yeah otherwise give me a follow on instagram and you'll see some weird black ass shit my name is christopher Plummer, and i'm here with colon up productions the world's largest black comic book universe and today we come here to LA Comic Con to give the new African experience. So pretty much it's our vibe to like come in, play music, let people have a, a chill area where they can relax after the con, play games, watch animations, the whole nine yards, you know, just really have a, a good time. My proudest moment has to be when we, we did a, a convention last year and we were presenting one of our, our other books, Red Hunter, and it's about the, the Gomba tribe in Ghana. And as we were talking about it, someone came up and pretty much was like taken aback. It like started tearing up. And we were like, what's going on? And she was like, my family's from the Dagomba tribe. And I don't think I've ever felt this scene in my life. And she then like went and showed us like pretty much they have this this huge document where they have like all of the Dagomba tribe like listed like the whole like family tree of the whole tribe and they're like yeah it's amazing like how how well you guys did without being Dagomba yourself <laughs> you know and it's just like it's just a, a testament to like what it means to like really present people a particular way and do the research when it comes to looking at other people's cultures. You can find us everywhere on social media as a colon up prod underscore and then also colon up productions.com. That's where you can buy comics like this one here as well as pre-orders for all our other series. My name is Derek Elton. I'm Scram Comics, and these are, uh, I do pop culture art. I've been doing the Comic-Con type thing since 2010, but I've been drawing all my life. And I've been selling uh, since uh, elementary school. I'm on Instagram, Scram Comics on Instagram. My name is Beto. I'm a comic book artist, graphic designer, and I'm here at LA Comic-Con for the first time. This specific line here is a mashup I do of old comic book covers, classic comic book covers, and hip hop artists. I'm a comic book collector since I was a little kid, and obviously a big music lover, hip hop head, R&B, all of that. So just mashing together two of my loves. I'm a family man, you know, have the wife, the kids, and all of that. So always finding time to do your artwork, balancing that, coming to shows, taking up a whole weekend. But luckily I have a very supportive family. And um, yeah, they support everything I do. And when the convention's done, I get to go home and have fun. So it's all good. Uh, you can check me on Instagram, uh, all social media actually. My handle is at Beto Art. That's B-E-D-D-O-A-R-T, Beto Art, or my website, betoart.com.